We're back now at 743 and this morning on Live Smart Today we're talking about power vampires. Your appliances could be taking a bite out of your wallet even when you're not using them. Today's financial editor, Gene Chatsky, is here with more on this. Explain, Gene. Hi, Matt. With fewer daylight hours and the growing popularity of staycations, Americans are spending more time at home as we head into the winter months. So, how do you cut down on your electric bills? As it turns out, the answer is very close to home. A recent study from Oxford University showed that when people had direct feedback about how much electricity they were actually using, they were able to cut their electric bills from anywhere to 5 to 15 percent. That's a big deal, considering on average people in this country are using $2,200 of electricity each year. Most people don't realize that the average home is responsible for twice the greenhouse gas emissions of the average car. And so when you save energy, you're saving those greenhouse gas emissions. So today, we're using a new power monitoring device. We've actually attached it to the electric meter. It's equipped with a sensor that talks to this box. Now I input my charge per kilowatt hour. Mine is 19.98, which by the way is a little higher than in most of the country. But if you're not sure what yours is, you can call your power company or look at your most recent bill to find out. Then we can use this meter, go around the house to figure out how much power we're using. I have a charger problem. I tend to leave them plugged in even when there are no phones or appliances on the other end. Let's unplug them. A microwave is one of those household appliances that uses a lot of power. If you're like me, though, it's convenience. Better solution, take them out the night before and put them in the refrigerator to defrost. You probably think that a big screen TV like this one would eat up more power than many of the appliances in the house. Not true. It only uses six cents an hour. So your child comes home, they need their soccer uniform for tomorrow, and you don't have a full load of laundry to do. You should know it's costing you a lot of money because washers and dryers, they use more power than many of the other appliances in the house. Computers like TVs may only cost a few cents an hour to run, but many people make the mistake of leaving them on too much of the time. You want to use your energy saver setting so that when you're away from the computer for 20 minutes, the monitor will shut itself down. $1.33, that's the magic number. It's how much I'm spending every hour for electricity right now. But what if we go through the house and we turn off everything we don't need? Let's see how we did. <laughs> 32 cents an hour. Now, granted, might I have a few lights on in the house at any one time? Absolutely, but isn't this amazing? 32 cents. You miser, you. <laughs> you, you really can you save a lot of it. So we're talking about the average person can save hundreds of dollars a year. If you save 20% off my electric bill, and granted I use a lot of electricity, it's almost $800 a year. That could pay for Christmas. Of course, I'm wondering about these monitors here. Are mm -hmm. they so expensive that, that it kind of defeats the purpose? Actually, they're not. We use the Black & Decker monitor, which is $99. This one from Blue Line actually has a greater range. It's 119 and this one is called the Energy Detective, or right. TED. A little more expensive in some of its um, models, but it gives you the ability to actually check your usage from anywhere over the internet because it's as a, an application with Google. Do any of these allow me to zap my kids when they don't turn lights off when they, <laughs> when they leave the room? No, but this one allows you to see what they're doing. Pick up the phone from here and say, hey, Jack, turn off the light. How'd you know it was Jack? There you uh, go. All right, so here's some other tips. You Use energy efficient light bulbs, unplug appliances when they're not in use, seal and insulate your home. That's a big one. That is a huge one. Insulation costs a lot less than people might expect. Turn hot water heater down to 120 degrees. A lot of people have it higher than that. And, and 120, by the way, is plenty to take a hot shower. And we've said this one a thousand times on the air, and some people still haven't done it. Install a programmable thermostat. Turn it down when you're sleeping or when you're out of the house once. Let it do the work, and all of a sudden your bills go way down. What are you going to do with all that extra money? Oh, you know, buy Christmas. you a Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, way to go. Here we go. Gene Chatsky, thank you very much. <laughs>